Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial, I am going to talk about protein secretion. You probably have heard this name many a times, the life cycle of proteins. I have talked about it in different advanced videos you can find in my YouTube channel. Now in this video, I am not going to talk about the advanced way, but I am going to give you an overview of protein secretion and how after producing a protein, it is secreted out of the cell. Now remember, protein secretion always works for those proteins which are soluble right or globular proteins normally transmembrane proteins are not getting secreted out of the cell because most of the transmembrane proteins destination is the cell membrane so they will grow and fuse with the cell membrane and that's the job of the cell but for protein secreted many different enzymes need to be secreted outside that's why protein secretion is required right so let us talk about protein secretion now in protein secretion part, I'm not going to talk about the synthesis of protein because it is known, it is the process called translation. We all know that. So translation is the first thing that should occur. And for translation to occur, remember where translation occur? Always in the cytoplasm because, because the main machinery for translating a protein that is ribosome is present in the cytoplasm so always translation occurs in the cytoplasm so mrna is being produced inside the nucleus it is being trans it is being uh, transferred transported to the cytoplasm so if i if i draw it here if i draw a nucleus here like this way nucleus in this case right so if this is the nucleus nucleolus is inside and through this nucleus rna is being made now once RNA is being made, that RNA is transcribed here. This is the MR. It is uh, transcribed inside the nucleus and transported to the cytoplasm. Now once it is in the cytoplasm, ribosome sit on it. Ribosome sit on it. And it will bring and produce proteins. Now this process actually works in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So if I draw rough endoplasmic reticulum what it will look like it will look something like this it will look uh, large large channels like this connected so large channels connected with each other like that so they just look like this let's say like this Okay, so this is rough endoplasmic ret reticulum. They are having internal channels like that. So this protein synthesis begins here because mRNA sit on this place and ribosome is sitting here. This is the ribosome and proteins, proteins are being translated. So here comes the protein. And once the proteins are being made, proteins are inserted inside this endoplasmic reticulum and we know endoplasmic reticulum is filled with ribosomes let us draw ribosomes with this green color filled with these ribosomes filled with this uh, filled with this ribosome throughout the place that's why we call it rough endoplasmic reticulum or RER because the surface of the endo reticulum is rough due to the presence of ribosomes in it right because ribosomes are granular things now once the protein uh, chain is being made it is inserted inside this rough endoplasmic reticulum lumen that we can see here this is the lumens and then that thing start two important important factors inside this rough endoplasmic reticulum and what are those factors one factor is is cleaving of signal pe peptide signal peptide because once the protein is being synthesized there is a signal peptide present at the terminal part now once the protein synthesis is completed that signal peptide is cleaved up that is the thing first thing to occur inside the lumen of RER now the second thing here is is the folding uh, addition of sugar second thing is the addition of sugar some new sugar compounds are added to the proteins now more or less all the secretory proteins have some kind of sugar variations so more or less all the proteins are having some addition of extra sugar onto it now that thing occurs after the addition of sugar the third thing occurs which is the most crucial and important thing for a protein that is the protein folding protein folding is also occurred in this RER lumen so protein folding is there done so we are having sequential stages 
clearing uh, cleaving of the signal peptide then addition of sugar then the protein folding once the protein folding is completed they are headed towards the protein sorting terminal which is called as golgi apparatus right so let us look at the protein sorting terminal or golgi apparatus and all these things are actually occurring from nucleus to rough endoplasmic reticulum then the golgi operator and the golgi operator is nothing but a small version of rough endoplasmic reticulum like structures and it is made up with three different sections one is called as so it it looks like this like this actually okay so let's this is the golgi three different section is there inside a golgi one is the transis golgi another one is the medial golgi which is present in the middle and third is the trans golgi right now i have drawn here three different places but there could be more than three different vesicles many more vesicles can be there but the starting part is called the cis the middle part is medial and trans is the part which is facing toward the membrane cis is the part facing towards the endoplasmic reticulum okay so that's why the name came in so this is facing towards the er this is facing towards the membrane okay okay now once this thing occurs now in this case once the protein is been made they start to form vesicles and proteins after the folding say folded proteins are there folding is done now those folded proteins are being captured in the vesicle and the vesicle kind of bulge out from this endoplasmic reticulum so here we can see a vesicle coming out folded protein is inside the vesicle so this is the vesicle and inside the vesicle there will be folded protein now whatever process we are looking the golgi apparatus the place of the golgi apparatus will be in this place so imagine this golgi apparatus is present right after the er i don't have that am amount of area in the board that's why i need to draw it here but actually they are sequentially placed now once this vesicle come came here vesicle filled with protein came here and it will fuse with the golgi apparatus now once it will fill with fu fuse with the cis golgi there after the fusion there should be another many round of chemical modifications like glycosylation sumoylation methylation acetylation many different kinds of protein chemical modification take place in golgi apparatus now once this protein is moving from cis golgi through medial golgi to trans golgi it is becoming matured protein and and finally again similar way they start to form a vesicle from from this cis trans golgi and finally that folded protein with all of this chemical modifications will come out right and this vesicle is going to fuse with the cell membrane fusion with the cell membrane and that's and this way the protein will be released outside that's the actual process now in this case during this process as the vesicles are coming in because i we have always drawn one particular vesicle here actually more than one vesicle is uh, always there so vesicles are coming and are fused with this uh, cis golgi once the vesicle is fusing cis golgi is becoming larger and longer now from the cis golgi they start to form more vesicles and those vesicles will come they will fuse with the medial golgi now this thing always occurs and then from the medial golgi they will this protein is my so this protein is actually migrating right and this is migrating by bulging out vesicles and fusing it with the next one so bulging from the cis golgi the protein will fuse with the medial golgi bulging out from the medial golgi the protein will fuse with the trans golgi and finally from the trans golgi it will come out now during this bulging out from top to the bottom what we can see that as they start to form vesicles the membrane of this golgi is going shortened in the top region so the actual uh, structure of golgi network is cis network is larger than the medial then the trans is the smallest one but actually as the vesicles are coming from cis towards the trans it becomes opposite so the vesicle size of the cis is becoming shorter medial size will be less uh, slightly larger and trans will be more larger now as this process is done and protein is delivered then the retrograde transport occurs and what happens in the retrograde the forming of vesicle occurs from this terminal of trans and they are moving towards medial and medial towards cis to finally get this actual structure balanced 
right? And this is called retrograde transport. Remember, there are two types of transport inside a cell. One transport is from nucleus through ER through Golgi to the membrane. This is called anterograde type of transport, right? And this type of transport required for the protein secretion. Now, another opposite type of transport is there, which is we can see in this case to maintain the structural balance of Golgi network in the, or shape of the Golgi network and that is called the retrograde which is coming from trans to medial to cis Golgi network. So this is the overview of the protein secretion guys and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.